So the final race of the day already then, it's a four mile, it's the longest race of the day as well. Four mile chase at Newcastle. And at the top settler for Crane Beckwith, Crane Lynn. Let's try that again. Settler at the top for Greg Beckwith. Friendly Vantage, Darren Thompson, Barnack Griego, Derek Hinton, Dubai Summer, Martin Liam, Califet, Matt Cooper, Shimin De Fair, Padre Hogan, Langley Streak, Graham Clutterbuck, Karate Lodge and Place of the Duchess for Alex Cherry, Sweet Women, David Hooley, Gardens of Penn Halligan, Darren Thompson, Sadlerella Shod for David Robertson, Finding Alice Martin Liddham, Kyle Leak in most for Matt Cooper and Kareem and Windmill Rise for Stu Gray at the bottom. Calling it away. Four miles to go around Newcastle. Just one furlong shy of the Ida trip, which is the biggest jump race of the season at Newcastle. Maybe it isn't. Actually, because the fighting fit is here as well, isn't it? That's a grade one hurdle. So anyway, they get over the first. Buffling already. And... Gardens of Penn Halligan is the leader, probably the most prestigious handicap chase they've got then, I'd say, is the Ida, so this will be a bit of a tester for that, as they get over the second, they've got 21 more to take, which means they've got 23 obstacles to take, all two of which have been safely negotiated by the 16 strong field as they take the third, which they all get over nicely, and the Gardens of Penn Halligan for Darren Thompson, who's having a day and a half again in front. Be sitting there thinking oh, that Joshua Sutherland don't turn up again next time. If they wait clear of him, David Robertson and David Hooley give him something to think about in some of the races. But for the most part, Darren Thompson's been there or thereabouts in pretty much every race. And he's in the lead in this one with Gardens of Penn Halligan in front, Shimming the Fair in second. Patrick Hogan, then Friendly Vantage is third, place the Duchess is fourth, and then Karate Lodge, Bynat Griego, and Dubai Summer, the Grey Sal Sadlerella Shod. In between them, a bit of a gap to the rest of them, are headed by Califlet as they get over the next one. There's a four, then it's Darren Thompson's again, Friendly Voyage. So he's what a strange situation now because the horses are doing really well. They're winning the races, but the second ones are falling over. And Gardens of Penn Halligan is now flying the flag for Yard Thompson on its own. From Shimin de Fair in second, and then Place the Duchess third. Karate Lodge is fourth. Dubai Summer is fifth. Then the Grey Sadlerella shot. Then the second Grey find analysis after that one. Barnett Griego is next, and then Settler and Califlet. With windmill rise and sweet wind, and towards the back, Kareem, Kyle Leakin most, and Langley Streak, the back marker as they take the fifth. Let's so have got over okay. Likewise, the sixth, and Gardens of Penhalligan continues to lead. Falling clear of Shimon de Fair in second. Cherry Perry moved through third and fourth. Karate Lodge and placed the Duchess. Well, the leader made a mistake, so did the horse in second. The first turn, there's a four at the back as well. Kindly acting most has gone, so that one is out of it. And the two leaders both made mistakes as well, so they're jumping. Not all that brilliant. As they go over this next one, they all got over that one okay though. And Gardens of Penhaligan recovered from that mistake. He's bowling along again in front. Over number nine. So we'll get over nicely. Shimming the fur second on the inside of Karate Lodge and place the Duchess. Then the grey saddler in a slot and finding Alice. We do buy someone and Kareem. And settler. Sweet wind trying to make a bit of a forward move from the back as well. Langley Street is the one who's just struggling in rear at this stage. Nice. Gardens of Penn Alley and leads over the 10th. From Shimon de Fur and Karate Lodge. Place the darkness is next to then finding Alice getting closer. And 
So if they're in Lemon. Golden Pin Halligan still leading. Two miles still to go. Looks like take the 12th. Thirteenth with God to Penhalligan skipping over it nicely. In the line of three now sharing second. Shemin de Fair finding nice and Karate Lodge plays the Duchess and Setna just tucked in behind them and then tucked in behind them. Windmill Rise do by sight and Sadler in a shot. Will sweep win round the outside. Kareem is going to try and sneak up the inside, but long way to go yet. And got to get to this leader first. Gardens of Penhalligan. Over the 9th, or 14th, sorry, with Gardens of Penhaligan in front, and then Shimon de Fur is moved through in a second, Setter is third, and final is fourth. Then place the Duchess, Windmill Rise is getting a bit closer. And Gardens of Penhaligan is still the leader, and in the lead all the way. Shimon de Fair in second. And finally, Alice in place of darkness, then Settler. And windmill rise after that one. Over the 15th they go. And there's a fall there towards the back. Binat Griego is gone. So the third one's a depart. Here's Derek Hinton's Binat Griego as they take this ditch. And the lead has changed hands for the first time. And now as Shimon de Fair goes on. Got to pin down again. A little slow jump has just dropped back into second, but he might just be getting a little bit of, bit of air into that one, giving it a bit of a breather. With seven furlongs still to go. And Shimon de Fair leads into this next one. Good jump there by the leader. Also, Gardens and Penaligan jumps it well in second. Place the Duchess in third. Then finding Alice going well. Langley Streak has come through from absolutely nowhere. Then the Settler and Karate Lodge had the real shot. After that one, as they get over the 18th, the leader made a mistake and is now suddenly swamped again. As Gardens of Penhaligan comes around the outside to dispute the lead, but there's almost six in a line, six or seven in a line in there as they come towards the next. Over it they go. Who landed in front there? I'm not quite sure, but finally Alice made a mistake and dropped back a little bit, and now Settler's gone on. It's Settler on the outside of Karate Lodge in second, then Shimin Defer and Gardens of Penhaligan's after that one, then Langley Street in place of Duchess finding Alice's next, and they've got just four to jump, I think. And it's Seth Drew's in the lead. From Windmill Rise, he's running a big race for Stu Grow on the outside. Then Karate Lodge over the fourth last the final ditch. And Settler now being challenged by Windmill Rise. Karate Lodge is back in third. Then comes Shimon Defer and Langley Streak. After that one place, the Duchess finding nice. Looks a bit one pace, but it's Settler and Windmill Rise down towards the third last. Over it they go. Windmill Rise just landed in front. It's Windmill Rise on the outside. Now going at length clear with two furlongs to go and two to jump. It's Windmill Rise in the lead for Stu Gray. Settler's back in second, over it they go, good jump there by Shimon de Fair, final Alice is running again, toe two, sweet women on the outside but it's Windmill Rise in the lead, coming down to the final fence, it's Windmill Rise but he's being challenged now by Shimon de Fair and sweet women, over it they go Shimon de Fair is changing, so do his sweet women, but it's Windmill Rise who's hanging on Windmill Rise from sweet women as they race up towards the line, Windmill Rise needs the line to come, sweet women's getting closer and sweet women just steals it on the line from Shimon de Fair was third and then final Alice fourth and then Langley Street and Settler in a shot after that one. And David Hooley takes another one, steals it from Stu Gray. He looks like he's got himself a decent four miler there. And as the handicapper doesn't get hold of him. And Sweet Women has won it for David Hooley. So sweet women, the winner for David Hooley. Windmill rise for Stu Gray second. So finally, somebody breaks 
the monopoly of the big boy Shimon the for Patrick Ogan was third, Finding Dinalis for Martin Leader was fourth, and Langley Streak for Pontypool Racing Grand Clusterbuck was fifth. That's your trials day four. I don't know whether there's going to be a trials day five. I expect some sort of announcements to come up later in the week with regard to start dates of seasons proper and all that sort of stuff. Maybe time for one more trials, who knows? Well, whatever, whatever it is, I'll see you again sometime in the next month or so.